What's going on, Nerd Nation? It's your boy Trey. So, I wanted to bring y'all the very first unboxing video of the Trucking with Trey stuff, of what I collect. Uh, unfortunately, we had some technical issues. Um, first time we've done an unboxing, I tried to do it on the computer with the green screen and everything set up and it didn't come out right. So this isn't going to be an unboxing reaction video because I've unboxed everything. But what I do want to do is show y'all what I got, do it in a little bit better format with the GoPro. Uh, this is for February. This is all the stuff that I purchased in February. Um, and let y'all kind of see what I got, what I picked up, uh, where we're going to go. Now that we've kind of figured out that the best way to do this is on the GoPro, next month's unboxing video will be shot on the GoPro. It will be better quality. Uh, it will be honest reactions to the unboxings. So, with that being said, this is a redo. Call it what it is. The technical difficulties wouldn't allow us to get in and edit the way we wanted to so we're reshooting this i'm not going to repackage everything and open it and try to fake the reactions because that's not right guys uh i've opened everything i know what's in there so i've just got everything stacked up um and i'm going to show y'all what i unboxed kind of give y'all a little story on why i picked up what i picked up and go from there so um Thank y'all for being patient with the very first unboxing video. We're very, very excited to do this. It's super nerdy because that's what we enjoy doing. And there's some cool stuff in here. Some, some stuff that I'm going to tell you about that I really, really enjoy. So with that being said, let's get right into the very first thing. It wasn't unboxed, but it was something I told y'all I was looking to get my hands on. And I did. So number one wasn't unboxed I just purchased it and wanted to show it off on camera and that is the Venomized Thanos y'all know I did the chase uh, I did the hunt and got my hands on the Green Goblin but this is also one of the ones that I really liked out of the Venomized series and I wanted to get my hands on it I was able to find it at Walmart picked it up super cheap it was like less than 10 bucks uh, it's a great looking pop you know how much I love the Venomized series. And it's Thanos. So I've already got it in a plastic protector. Uh, because, of course, that's that's what I do when I get a pop that I really like. Is I, Regardless of the value, I put it in a protector to keep it minty fresh. Um, so we picked up the Thanos Venomized series that y'all heard me talk about all week long. On the Truck and Matray series on the vlog. Uh, and that will be going into my personal collection one of the coolest pops out there along with that venomized green goblin that y'all saw if you haven't seen that go back and watch the video of when i actually picked that pop up uh, there will be a card at the end for the vlogs go check out the one with the green goblin venomized and uh i picked that up prior to that and was really excited wanted to show that off to y'all so we had two boxes that we bought on the third party marketplace that we knew what we were getting for my personal collection. So we picked up a pop that I'm excited to show you guys. And this was off of OfferUp and it was a really good price based on the PPG value, but it was the Holiday Edition Rocket Raccoon, okay? Uh, so they do these Holiday Editions every year. This one has Rocket on a snowmobile. Uh, really just a kind of a cool, it's got a toboggan on, beanie toboggan. Um, really cool series i picked this up and the reason is my wife collects garut and rocket raccoon funko pops that is who she enjoys going after uh, i've actually gotten people to pick me up pops from different cons that they've gone to uh, dallas fan days dallas comic-con and san diego comic-con and things like that for my wife's personal collection they did have a holiday line um, the Rock is just cool. Rock is just a really cool character, and it's going to go into my wife's personal collection. So the Rocket Raccoon was for her. I got it on offer up. Uh, 
I think I spent $15 shipped, which is right at PPG value. So that's a very, very cool pop that's going to go into my wife's personal collection. Um, and it's Rocket Raccoon. I mean, let's be real, it's pretty dope. Rocket and Groot are awesome. Uh, now the pop that I picked up for my personal collection is the green Chrome Boba Fett. This was picked up on eBay. Again, I got a very good deal on eBay on this pop. It is the shared convention exclusive sticker. It is not the actual con sticker from when it was originally exclusive. This was shared, I believe, with Hot Topic. Um, it's been sold out since. It's a 2019 summer convention series. Green Chrome Boba Fett. Anybody that knows me knows how big of a Star Wars fan I am and knows how big of a Mandalorian Boba Fett fan that I personally am. So it is the green chrome Boba Fett with the shared convention sticker. So uh, very cool. Uh, again, I picked it up right at PPG value shipped, which is very cool for me. Anything that goes in my personal collection, that's always something that I'm looking to do. Uh, little sippy, little sippy. Cheers, Nerd Nation. We did have one mystery box from, um, it wasn't Zo Zobi, Zuby Toys, it was, um, it was a mystery box, it was a one pop mystery box, and uh, forgive me for forgetting who I purchased it from because I, I do this from time to time. Uh, very cool mystery box setup, they do giveaways, they, they give away sets. Uh, we did not get a set, but we did pick up a Game of Thrones Lord Varys uh, common pop from the Game of Thrones series uh, very nice all of the pops that I picked up the Rocket the Boba Fett and the Varys were all shipped in plastic protectors which big shout out to everyone out there in the Funko community when you ship your pops that is a plus for anybody buying for personal collection uh, to ship them in this it keeps the boxes very nice very clean and uh, big shout out to, to everybody that does the Funko stuff um, Game of Thrones love the series series is great this might be listed if anyone is interested in it we might be getting rid of this one this is not something that I collect but it was in a mystery box why the heck not uh, so we picked up the Lord Lord Varys um, in a mystery box no redemption with it, it was just the Lord Varus. now I have one more pop to show you guys this wasn't on the original unboxing video I just got my hands on it it is an amazing two-pack pop it was one that uh, I had to have ordered and shipped to a store and picked up later now I'm gonna be 100% honest the box is not in fantastic condition it's probably a 6 or 7 out of 10 condition on the box there's some damage to the box but this is the Barnes and Noble 2 pack for the Mandalorian with the Mandalorian and IG-11 this is from Barnes and Nobles uh, no knock on Barnes and Nobles they actually were very gracious to get it shipped from another store because my store in town was sold out of it uh, fantastic I love the Disney Plus series John Farva did a great job uh, just like I said a couple of things I'm gonna be honest with you guys there's a bend there is a bend and box is damaged across the top window panel um, it's not in perfect condition it's not in mint condition is this something I wanted? Absolutely. Was I willing to wait to get my hands on it? Yes. Um, so there's the back. Fantastic. IG-11. Great character. Loved IG-11 in The Mandalorian. Um, and then, of course, The Mandalorian. So, very cool two-pack two exclusive to Barnes & Noble. I was able to get my hands on it. I wasn't going to pass up that opportunity. So, this is brand new. I just picked this up today. A um, little damage. It happens when you ship from one store to another. Not 
I'm not going to bash them about it uh, because this is an awesome two pack pop that was an exclusive and I was able to get my hands on it. Um, now, for the main course, after all of the pop fun, after everything that we got, I'll show y'all. This is ProWrestlingTees.com monthly subscription box for the month of February and it was a retro themed box I've already taken the shirts out of it like I said I unboxed this previously and um, went through everything and the video didn't work so now we're going to go through what was in February's ProWrestlingTees.com monthly subscription box um, I was very impressed. I'll put it that way. So I'm looking forward to doing some more of these as we go on, but I'm going to pop the box open. I'm not going to try to be sneaky and reach in because I've already seen everything in here. So I'm just going to share this with you guys and let y'all know, um, what we got in February's pro wrestling.com monthly subscription box. Um, they always do a very good job with these boxes, and I really enjoyed the retro box, just to let y'all know. So, the very first thing we got was the pin, our enamel fig pin, Ultimate Warrior logo, with the Ultimate Warrior face paint. Love him. All time, one of the greatest. Uh, rest your soul, Warrior. Um, you know, RIP, brother. But one of my favorite things, this pin is amazing. Check that out. The the pin's great. Um, I'm keeping the pin. Sorry, guys. I'll let y'all know what's going to be up uh, available for purchase for anybody, as well as what you might be able to find on eBay. Um, so I'm going to move that over. I'm going to be honest. This is probably the funniest thing in the whole crate, and it's a fanny pack. So I'm going to do. Let me see if I can get this big enough real quick for your boy. I'm going to go hipster. I want to do the fanny pack hipster thing. Yeah, fanny pack hipster thing. Look at that. What's more retro than a fanny pack? Um, the fanny pack, funny item. Uh, really, really cool. But, you know, hey, it, you know, it, it is what it is. It's fanny pack. I think I'm doing that right. Hipsters. Let me know down in the comments below. Am I wearing the fanny pack right? Because I think they're making a comeback. So, ProWrestlingTees.com Retro Fanny Pack. Uh, pretty funny item. I, I thought it was humorous. I did. Um, now, DVD. They put a DVD in every one of these boxes. And this month's was styling and profiling, limousine riding, jet plane flying. Woo! The dirtiest player in the game, Mr. Ric Flair. Uh, there's some great matches that are featured in this DVD, but it's Ric Flair, anything Ric Flair is awesome. Um, I'm going to be saving this as well. Uh, the fanny pack might be up for sale. If I have any interest for it down in the comments, let me know. Um, but I'm keeping this because if I ever get an opportunity to meet Ric, uh, I'm going to get him to sign it. I want him to sign the, the DVD cover or a Funko Pop of him or something like that. So, uh, dirtiest player in the game, DVD, Ric Flair. Some of the featured matches, right? Ric Flair versus Kerry Von Erich from the great state of Texas. Uh, another God rest your soul. Uh, Ric Flair versus Art Cruz. Ric Flair versus and the Crusher Blackwell versus Barry Windham and Kerry Von Erich. Uh, Ric Flair versus Samu. Ric Flair versus Pat O'Connor. And this one right here. This is where 
the worth comes from. Ric Flair versus Dusty Rhodes, baby. Um, yeah, Ric, Ric Flair versus Harley Race for the NWA Championship. Very cool DVD, and it's Ric Flair. It's Ric freaking Flair. Guys, if you don't like Ric Flair, and I remember way back when. We I, I, don't, I don't know what to do with you. Woo! One of the other random items that they put in the box. Really cool. Um, and it is a poster as I unfold this, right? So it is Jerry the King Lawler and Andy Kaufman from uh, their time wrestling each other or entertaining everyone, as I like to say it. Uh, Andy Kaufman was great. Uh, Andy Kaufman was amazing as a entertainer. And that's cool as far as the wrestling poster goes. That right there, Jerry the King Lawler, Andy Kaufman, very iconic moment in professional wrestling uh, in the Tennessee Territory, if I'm not mistaken, where, where, where Lawler is from. So very cool poster now this guy right here micro brawlers they put one micro brawler in every box of course with it being retro themed it is kamala and, and it's a it's a really cool wrestling uh micro brawler uh i don't collect the micro brawlers definitely let me know if you have any interest in this possibility that this is going to be sold um, the Jerry Lawler poster I'm gonna hang on to uh, if I get a chance to meet Jerry Lawler it'd be a cool item to get autographed so uh, they do one 8x10 autograph in every one of these boxes I wish we had my original reaction to this because it's pretty awesome um, and I'm gonna get into why it's pretty awesome but we've got an autographed 8x10 of the Enforcer, Arn Anderson, coach of the Nightmare Family, Cody Rhodes's coach. He's working with AEW right now. Um, he actually inscribed it for, which is cool for the Four Horsemen. So uh, Arn Anderson inscribed for for the Four Horsemen with the certificate of authenticity from ProWrestlingTees.com. I'm gonna let you know Arn's doing some really cool things in AEW. Uh, that you know is very very cool to see competition within wrestling but the nightmare family coach Arn Anderson that auto is staying in my collection sorry guys no chance that you get your hands on it unless you bought that crate the retro crate for the month of February so I'm going to put all of this up we're going to get to what everybody likes and that's the t-shirts so every one of these boxes they come with two t-shirts from prowrestlingcrates.com and they're part of the theme for the month so this was a retro box we got two shirts I've worn both of them already so I apologize if there's pit stains or anything like that it's, I've worn both of them I was excited the very first shirt we got was the Iron Sheik. Uh, almost like an OD Green shirt. Iron Sheik. Thought the logo looked great. Uh, very cool. I don't see a ton of Iron, Iron Sheik shirts. Iron Sheik shirts. Iron Sheik shirts. I don't see a ton of Iron Sheik shirts running around. So, really cool shirt. Uh, people that know who the Iron Sheik are, if you're wearing that, they're definitely going to you know give you some props for the old school thing. Uh, the last shirt I'm going to show you and then let you know my personal opinion because I've heard mixed reviews about this shirt and other YouTube videos for the unboxing for this and I'm going to tell you that I disagree with some of these people. That's the kind of rules I play by but you, you play by different rules, yeah you. The best shirt in the box. You better snap into it, okay? The Macho Man Randy Savage shirt. Amazing. Uh, Heather Gray shirt, 
It's got a really cool logo on it. I've seen this in other videos in a black as well that they sent out. Um, I'm not going to call anybody out by name because I don't like to do that. But there have there has been mixed reviews about the logo for the Macho Man Randy Savage shirt. I 100% dig it. Ooh, yeah, dig it. Yeah. No pun intended. I do like the Macho Man shirt. Um, the logo I think is great. It is kind of an old school dot logo for Macho Man. Um, it's Macho Man. It's iconic. It's the iconic glasses and the headband, and the American flag jacket that he wore. The people that are hating on this shirt, I'm not gonna mention names like I said, need to reevaluate. You purchased a retro Pro Wrestling Great Tees box. The logos for both of the shirts, the Iron Sheik and Macho Man, 100% were retro. I dig both of them. I think both shirts are amazing. And, and I did. I got a Heather Green. I've seen a black version of the Macho Man shirt. I got the Heather Gray. And then uh, I've only only seen the green in the Iron Sheik shirt. So maybe it was because it was on a black shirt. I think the gray shirt looks fantastic. Um, it's a retro box. To do the logos in a retro style, I 100% agree with. So for the people hating on the Randy Ma the the Macho Man Randy Savage retro tee, I do not understand what you're thinking. What are you thinking you were getting out of a retro box? That shirt is fan freaking tastic. In fact, value wise, between the Macho Man shirt, the Ultimate Warrior pin, and the Arn Anderson autograph, that box is a hundred percent worth the thirty-five dollars a month. People that are hating on the Macho Man shirt, this video is probably not for you. That shirt's fantastic. I will be rock, rocking that shirt. I already have. If you go back and look, I wore this shirt in the video where I got my head shaved. So, 100% uh, love the box. Shout out to ProWrestlingTees.com for the subscription box. I look forward to this coming month. March's box. Lucha is the theme. We're going to get some Zero Metal from the Lucha Brothers and El Generico. Let's, let's just be real. That, I'm, I'm excited about that box as well. Um, so I don't want to end the video on a sour note. The shirts were great. Let's give the box, just the Pro Wrestling Craig box, a review. It's getting a 3 out of 3 from your boy Trey. The best rating that I can give something. Three out of three. The Macho Man shirt was great. The Warrior pin was awesome. The fanny pack was absolutely hilarious. The Arn Anderson autograph going in my personal collection. Hands down, worth the price of admission. If you haven't, I'll link ProWrestlingTees.com's website in the comments down below. Go check out their monthly wrestling box. If you're a fan of pro wrestling, it's definitely a box I think you're going to enjoy. And with a guaranteed autograph, 8x10 every month, I feel like you definitely get your money's worth. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties. We are going to get better, and we're going to continue to push forward. This is a nice recap of what I unboxed. And I look forward to March's unboxing video. I'm still looking for deals out there to buy more stuff to unbox for you guys. But we're definitely unboxing another ProWrestlingTees.com Pro Wrestling Crate. So this has been your boy Trey. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for hanging out. And we'll see you guys next time. Oh, yeah.